Welcome back to GMT with me, David Eads. Now we're going to get some more on what is our main story, the escalating row over foreign aid in Venezuela. President Maduro announced that he's closing the border with Brazil. He's also said he's thinking about doing the same with Colombia, all to stop that relief aid coming into the country. Well, preparations are also being made for a big concert due to start in a few hours' time on the Colombian side of the border. It's called Venezuela Aid Live. It's expected to raise tens of millions of dollars. Um, not to be outdone, President Maduro is planning to hold musical events on the Venezuelan side under the headline Hands Off Venezuela. Well, I'm joined now by Gabriela Mendoza, who is the trustee of the UK-based charity Venezuela Healing. Uh, in fact, uh, thanks for coming in, Gabriela. You've got an event of your own here in London as well. But let's just start with, with the, the concert, an effort to raise a lot of money. And I suppose your view is going to be it's a drop in the bucket as to what is needed. Is that fair? Well, yes, it's a big effort. It's very important for us. Um, we hope that they will raise um, a lot of money, but also the, their influence will um, allow the humanitarian aid to go into Venezuela. I think we've got some pictures to reflect. It's going to be quite a big deal. There are a lot of very, very yes. popular singers. Oh, we see some of the pictures here of them coming in. Um, and there is clearly a lot of international interest and, and support. It's fair to say not everyone is enthusiastic about this. We have a, uh, a Roger Waters, for example, Pink Floyd fame, uh, who had this to say about Richard Branson's efforts to pull all this together. The important thing about this is that even if you listen to their shtick, it has nothing to do with humanitarian aid at all. Well, that's short and sharp and to the point. Does he, does he have a point? I don't think so. I think that Mr. Branson has been very clear about uh, this effort um, being about the humanitarian crisis. I really don't understand any debate around the need uh, to bring food and medicines to Venezuela. I suppose there is a worry, and we've heard it from the UN, we've heard it from the Red Cross as well, saying politicizing an issue like this is, is, is just, you can't go there, it's unforgivable if it's needed, put it in. But it is true that both sides are using it as a very important pillar of their, their arguments. Well, the thing is that uh, for the Maduro regime to accept uh, the humanitarian aid, it's to accept their failure, is to accept that they haven't been able to manage the country properly and that uh, they need to step back and let uh, a new government, new people rule the country. What about, I mean, your Venezuela healing, what, what is your perspective? Do you try to avoid the politics? Because, I mean, it is a deeply political issue. I don't think anyone would pretend it isn't. Uh, but when it comes to raising funds, getting support, trying to, to provide aid to people who need it, uh, can you avoid politics? Yes, you can. We have, we are as a, as a charity, as a UK registered charity, we are apolitical. We uh, do not get into any ideology. Um, we just want to help Venezuelan people, um, no matter who they support. Um, so can, can, for us. Yeah, can you see a way in which, I mean, here we've got, you know, peace songs will be sung and frankly they're going to be sung on both sides of the border it's slightly ridiculous in a sense when there's this confrontation brewing can you see any way through so that the sort of aid that you're fundraising for and providing can be delivered to many many people who really need it without this sort of confrontation i mean do you fear a confrontation well, yes we all fear a confrontation we are hoping that this can take place in a peaceful manner uh, the need is acute um, and I hope that the Maduro regime will understand that this is about the, the health and survival of the Venezuelan people. Okay, we wait to see how it uh, maps out. Um, good luck with your event uh, later on here Thank in London. You. Gabriela Mendoza, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, as I say, uh, the, the uh, many uh, fans who've come for the music, as well as for, I'm sure, the uh, political activism that goes with it, have been pouring in in their numbers. We've heard about up to 600,000 volunteers, according to Richard Branson, ready to help out as well. We will keep across that here on BBC World News for you. That is GMT.